Well today, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I want to tell the story of how I became a disabled veteran and how I transitioned out of that kind of dark mentality and mindset and did my best to turn it into a career of being a guitar player, okay? Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube. I'm so, I'm so excited I can say that four and a half years later. I'm still I'm still doing it. I'm still here. I'm still a guitar player here on YouTube. And things are going pretty well. So thank you so much for always tuning back in and supporting me. I really appreciate it. But yeah, man, today's video is just going to be a little bit different. A little bit of an informal hangout. And I'll tell you guys just like the story of what happened. Why I always, I always say like, you know, I'm injured. I'm hurt. I'm this, I'm that. I'll tell you guys what happened. Um, and then tell you guys what I went through, what I'm still going through, and then ultimately how I like I kind of am doing my very best to, uh, you know, use what I learned in the military and through this kind of rough patch and and apply it to uh, playing guitar for a living. So you know, it's just gonna be a little bit of an informal hangout and just a little just a little bit of a story time, okay? So I'm gonna start this video off by saying this right here, right now. I'm no war hero. I'm no hero hero. I'm just a guy who got hurt on the job, okay? Um, I had some pretty cool jobs in the military, at least I thought they were cool. I was an artilleryman and an infantryman. But with that being said, um, there's some serious badass men and women out there. And um, unfortunately, there's people that are way worse off than myself. I'm very lucky and very fortunate. I have nothing to complain about. Um, there are things that I wish I could change, but you know, there's people that are way worse than myself, unfortunately. So I want to put that first and foremost in the front of this video because that is you know a very serious thing that i want to make sure that i'm making apparent i am um i'm very lucky with, with everything that i've gone through i'm still very lucky okay cool so how did i get hurt what the hell happened to me well at the time i was an artilleryman and i believe we we're we were in the baltic somewhere estonia lithuania latvia one of those countries in eastern europe just at the border of russia um and what happened was I fell about 15, God, who knows, man, how far it was, but I would say anywhere from like 13 to 19 feet. Um, I would say, I would say about like 13, 14 feet. Um, and I fell off of an LMTV, um, in the past and in, in, in real life and on the internet, I've just kind of just dismissed it as saying a building because in my own personal life, when I said like a military truck, um, you know, people often think of Humvees and, or, or like something other than what it was um so i always just said like a building also too our children men kind of live out of that thing so yeah it's a truck but it's also like our home so i would just say like a building in passing but it was actually a big ass truck um not that that really matters just trying to like i don't know in case anybody's confused trying to clear the air um big ass military truck big tall military truck um and where i fell off of i fell off of the back um because the cab's about here and then the back sits up a little bit higher the cab is about like nine and a half feet, and then the the back, I don't know what you want to call that, um, the bed, the cover, was about like another foot and a half, two feet taller there. So, um, you know, just trying to paint the picture here. So, like, give or take, that thing was about 12 feet. So, it was late at night. It was like January, February. I think like February. It was like raining. It wasn't snowing, but it was like freezing rain. Long story short, man, I lost my footing, slipped, and where we were parked at, I w we were next to like an incline of sorts and in hindsight I'm not really sure why we were next to an incline like that but I think that dropped from like where the like what am I trying to say here where the where the truck was and then where like I landed I would say it was about another three feet um, of, of, of depth give or take I fell and I hit the ground really really hard <laughs> um, yeah man um, you know it's it just like poof, like exploded kind of thing man uh, yeah, like just like really 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 hard and uh, it felt like a bomb went off internally and went in all different directions And uh, you know, I don't even really even know if too many people saw it. I know like one or two people saw it But uh, I don't even know if anybody really remembers it because again, it was late at night You know, we're all tired and honestly too, man. I, I, I brushed it off. I laughed You know what I mean? Like we all kind of laughed because it was like <laughs> it was kind of funny You know, I just ate it really really hard and uh, I kind of hit it. You know what I mean? I knew I was hurt, but like, I didn't want to let people know I was hurt, you know, because I was a young, stupid, stubborn 22 year old at the time. And uh, I was just like, oh, I'm fine, you know, whatever, just me being clumsy, because I am a very clumsy person. So people kind of, kind of expect that from me. 
So anyway, you know, I, I fell, you know, at 10 to 15 feet, we'll say. And then um, also, too, I had, like, my Kevlar on, my IOTV, so, like, my helmet, my vest, my weapon, you know, uh, ammo, uh, knee pads, elbow pads, maybe, I don't know, a whole bunch of shit. And, like, you know, at the time, I weighed, like, 180 pounds, so... There's like a 200 pound rock <laughs> plummeting to the ground, plummeting to the earth, right? Um, so big old thud when I hit, and I just went bam. And you know, I uh, I knew my right shoulder was the most in pain because like I hit and it just like kind of just like I don't know, just like like I said, it just felt like it exploded. Um, and then also too, my left elbow hurt a little bit, my hip hurt a little bit, and my neck hurt a little bit. So a whole bunch of stuff, right? So I put it off and I hit it. I hit it for about like, I don't know, 13, 14 months, something like that, give or take, before I um, I really like, really wanted to seek medical attention. First thing that was a priority list was my right shoulder, my right area, we'll call it. I tore my labrum, my rotator cuff, and my bicep tendon. Um, so I was going through the military, going about my daily routine with all that going on for about a year. Um, yeah, don't recommend that, very stupid. Um, so what they had to do is they had to cut my bicep tendon off from my labrum, drill a hole into my humerus, and then reattach my bicep like here. So like my right biceps like always going to be kind of small because <laughs> it's like not structurally sound anymore. So that's pretty wild, right? Then they repaired my rotator cuff and my labrum. So the first surgery didn't take, and um, then uh, I had to do another one once I got out. So I had two surgeries there, right? Okay. Next on the list, when I landed, I hurt my neck. I herniated a couple discs in my neck, and I had to have minor invasive surgery to try to repair that. Um, they, like, burned my nerves and, like, kind of, like, shaved some discs or something um, in my neck. Very, very minimalistic surgery there. So this one was probably the easiest one. So fingers crossed that holds up, right? Then on the left side of my body, um, my elbow kind of exploded. Um, I don't know why this will translate. Yeah, there it is. So, like... See this giant gap right here? Let me see a giant gap. So what happened was when I landed, something happened to where like the muscle and so like the muscle and my funny bone detached and like kind of like blew off the bone and um, it never like took and never healed again because it was always kind of just like floating around in there. So like every time I'd bend my elbow, it would just go. And my funny bone was going off and off and on of where it was supposed to be as well as the muscle very painful and very like you know annoying right um so i had to have three surgeries there to where they moved my funny bone my funny bone's no longer where it normally is it's like here somewhere and then they cut out some of my tricep so like your tricep muscle is supposed to like go here mine stops you know my this this head is very very small and it's like basically gone so they cut all that tricep out. So now I have this like kind of crazy scar and this crazy hole, this crazy crater in my arm. Um, so yeah, that that's a bummer. Now, um, unfortunately, when they moved the funny bone, I can't feel, well, I can feel right here, but it um, it's like the feeling of pins and needles, like when your foot falls asleep, that's always like he, there and apparent to the touch. And I will say getting this blacked out was the most pain I've ever been in my life, you know, don't feel sorry for me. I did it to myself. <laughs> but uh, just being honest, that's the most pain I've ever been. Uh, Madison, when she uh, blacked this out, man, it, oh, man, it was the worst pain ever. So got a whole bunch of scars there on my elbow from that. I got one here and then two here. So it's a pretty gnarly looking elbow, right? It's pretty jacked. And then the last thing is I had two hip surgeries, um, which are probably the worst out of everything just because it's your hip, man. Like you're always walking around. You're always on that. I tore my labrum. Um, and I had like, I think they said I had a fractured hip or something because it created a bone spur, like a calcium buildup to like repair it. But I, again, I also didn't rest it. So I was just messing myself up again. Don't recommend that. So that all being said are like the main injuries of my army career. And a little side note, before I was even in the army, I had kidney surgery left shoulder surgery and right hand surgery <laughs> so i already had a ton before i even went in um so like if i do the math i think we're at like 11 right now which is a pretty significant amount not the most in the world um people like i said are way worse off than i am i'm very lucky that i'm still able to be physically active 
Um, but you know, I am, I am who I am. You know, that's my story. I can't change it, right? So through all those surgeries, the the ones that I named, before, you know, after I was in the army, the the two, one, three, two. I think that's all of them. Yeah, those um, those man, those sucked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's funny like how terrible it was. But this channel, I've said it in several other videos, but this channel was like the main thing that kept me going. Like in terms of like being inspired and having a purpose in life. And not to say that I was hopeless or like you know depressed. I was sad, but I don't think I was ever depressed. Um, but that being said, this channel was like, like was my baby and still is. It was like, this is the coolest thing. You know what I mean? Like I could play guitar on the internet and meet people and you know, who knows what ever come of it. This is back in 2017, but like, I don't know. It just like, it was like my new thing, my new passion, because at the time I was physically unable to dress myself and unable to really tie my shoes or, you know, I couldn't reach above, um, like eye level for like a jar of peanut butter or something. So, um, you know, this channel like really, really inspired me to just keep going in life and try to do something. And then through time, through constant surgeries and rehab and occupational therapy, physical therapy, etc., I've finally gotten to a point where knock on wood, I'm like stabilized and I'm able to like have, um, you know, a, a, a part of my, my life back and I'm not like all messed up right <laughs> so i think that's um i think that's you know a blessing man like a blessing in disguise or just a blessing not in disguise i don't know it's just it's just awesome that i have like a decent amount of my physical capabilities back and so yes as the title suggests i am a disabled veteran um i i'm, I'm kind of embarrassed by that sentence if i'm being honest and i'm not really sure why um maybe not embarrassed but i'm not proud of it i don't wear that you know proudly i guess i don't know like i don't it's just not something that I like to flaunt around um, for whatever reason. It's just like, I don't know. I think it's like, I think if I say like I'm disabled, then people will look at me different. You know what I mean? And I think that's true, whether they mean to or not. So I kind of keep that under wraps, you know, in my in my real life, in my public life, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's my title. That's who I am now. Um, it's, it's weird that, um, you know, I'm on disability. I, I was disabled at 25 or whatever. Like, it's weird. Um, and you wouldn't know it if I didn't tell you. But, you know, <laughs> I'm struggling. There's a lot of chronic pain going around, you know, here on a daily basis. But hey, like I said, man, there's people that are way more um, deserving of praise and, and, and compensation and, you know, all the above. Accolades, if you even want to call it that. Um, there's, there's people that deserve it more than myself. But that being said, um, I really do think that getting hurt was the best thing to happen to me. And I'm not saying that to be cliche. I'm being dead serious, man, because had I not gotten hurt, I'd probably still be in the military in some capacity. But because I got out and I was, you know, dealt a bad hand, we'll call it, I'm doing my very best right now at this moment in time to still make that bad hand into a good hand, I guess, into a good situation. Um, that was the catalyst to me starting this channel, right? Um, had I not gotten hurt, man, I don't, yeah, I would definitely would have never have done this. And I have to say, like, I can't imagine doing anything more than this right now. Like, I'm very lucky that I get to play guitar for a living. Now, you know, I could say, oh, I worked really hard for this, but I do think luck has a, a fair amount of, of um, pull to why I'm here right now. You know, I think it was lucky, quote unquote, that I got hurt. If I didn't get hurt, I wouldn't be doing my dream job. You know, the army was pretty badass and I love that job a lot, but I think this is way better. So that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's like, uh, I guess, a st uh, an informal <laughs> timeline of how I came to be here right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video, uh, you know, made sense. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope I stayed on track. I'll have to check it out when I'm editing it. But yeah, man, that's that's kind of like a, uh, you know, a little deep dive. Again, I fell off an LMTV. Um, it, it wasn't like a building building, but like it was a structure that just so happened to be on wheels and we lived out of it. Um, a big ass truck. That's what that's what I fell off of. Um, fell into like a little little valley there about I don't know, anywhere from 12 to 15, 16 feet. I don't know, man. If <laughs> it was a far drop and enough to get when I hit the ground, I, I go, oh, <laughs> it hurt. So, you know, you know, I ain't nobody special, but that's what happened to me. So 
from there, I, uh, if that didn't happen, I don't think I'd be a uh, professional YouTuber, professional guitar player. So I'm done rambling. That's my story, man. Um, thank you all so much for, uh, for if anybody's still in this video. Thank you so much for supporting me and allowing me to have this, you know, and allow me to share this with you all. And um, I say I say it often, but I'll say it again. Without you guys showing up, I wouldn't be a damn thing. So I really do sincerely appreciate you all, okay? So with that being said, hope you have a great Monday if you're catching this at a live date. And regardless of where you are in the time-space continuum, hope you're doing well, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. I'll see you guys next time. Later.